Hello Travelers, Kelly here today with a new Genshin Impact video for you all. We are discussing how the pity system works in the game. Now I know, when I was a brand new player a few months ago, I would have loved if someone had explained this to me in the detail that I'm going to give it to you without all the extra fluff and BS. So, that's what we're going to get into and we're going to get right into it. So, as you know, right now we have the awesome Eula and Albedo banners up in addition to the Epitome Invocation banner. Okay, so the way this works, I'm sure you all could see here, every 10 wishes is guaranteed to include at least one 4-star or higher item. Now what they don't tell you is that the 4-star pity and the 5-star pity are not shared. They are exclusive from one another. So, you can get, every 10 wishes you are guaranteed to get a four star item now on this particular banner you are looking at getting a 50 percent chance to get one of these three you say well cali well, what if you don't get one of these three well in that case you could get any of the stuff on this four star list yes any of this stuff here it's a huge list but the way it works is that on these pulls if you do not get one of these three on your temple then you will get it on your next temple. Now, pity on this starts at eight. So the first seven pulls have like a five and a half percent drop rate to get a four star. And then after that, uh, it goes up, it pulls eight, nine, and then you have a hundred percent edge to number 10. So usually you're gonna get one or eight or nine. Sometimes though, it takes till the 10th pull to get it. Now you may be saying, well, Callie, what if I just want these? Well, you're going to have to pull a whole bunch. Because you're going to get chaff, you're going to get junk. Let's say you want Bennett. You do eight pulls. Now, these pulls are exclusive. You don't have to do this tenting. It keeps track of it in your history, okay? It keeps track. So you can see there's Rosaria. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I was unlucky. That was a temple, but here's a lion's roar before that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one was nine pulls since the last one. There's obviously our Eula. Eula is awesome. So, as you can see here, it's pretty cut and dry, but they are uh, exclusive. They are a separate list. So, you may be saying, well, I don't just want a four star I want Eula. I want Albedo. Give, give me these. I take the give them. Well, the way that works is your first 73 pulls, yes, 73, have a 0.6% chance per pull. It's not additive. It's a 0.6% chance for every single pull to get one of these five stars. Now, it also works the same way. You On this banner, you have a 50% chance to get Eula. On this banner, you have a 50% chance to get Albedo. However, on the future banners, same thing applies. It's always 50%. Now, you may be saying, well, what if I don't get one of these? What if I don't get Albedo or Eula? Well, then you're going to get one of these. You will get Jean, Diluc, Mona, Chi-Chi, or Kuching. Now, on your next one... On your next one after that, you're guaranteed to get the banner character. So you'll see people, oh, I'm guaranteed for this. I'm guaranteed I'm going to save. I'm guaranteed. Well, what they're meaning is that they missed and got Kuching, Chi-Chi, Jean, Deluc, or Mona instead of getting the banner character. So, all you have to do is keep wishing. You'll get there. Now, on your 74th pull, there's a lot of websites and people that will differ the math. But at the pull 74, I believe your percentage goes up to 7% from 0.6, and then it just keeps going up from there all the way till you hit the 90th pull. I think there was one person ever that got it at the 90th pull, which is incredibly unlucky. You'll probably get it between 74 and 80. That's where the statistics lie. That's probably what'll happen. So if you want to do that screenshot magic that a lot of people have on your 74th pull, do a temple, and you might, if you're very lucky, have multiple five stars, even though it's still the 0.6% per. So you may be saying, well, Cal, has a lot of pulls. Yeah, I know. Trust me. But that's how it works. 
It's pretty straightforward, and it will carry forward to the next banner. So, let's say that you have pulled, and you are at 73 pity on this banner. You decided, I don't want Albedo. I don't want Eula. I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna get Ito. That means that your next character, if you are guaranteed, meaning you have failed, is gonna be Ito. Now, if you didn't fail, and you're not guaranteed, you have a 50% chance to get Ito. Or, one of those other characters. You have 10% chance to get what each one of those. Or a 50% chance to get the banner character. Pretty straightforward, yeah? Pretty simple. A lot of people don't tell you this. They, they don't... They don't try to explain it just to the point. It does not matter if you do one witch or ten. Now, weapon banner. Different mechanics here. You ever notice this little child thingy picture over here? You need to pick the weapon that you want to have a course for. Obviously, I want the Freedom Sworn. Just kidding. Much as I love Kazu, I want the Song of Broken Pines. Obviously. You mean. Let's go. Anyway. Pretty simple. Straightforward. So, on this one, you want to set the course, make sure you hit go. Your screen should look like this. Before you ever start pulling on a weapon banner, if you haven't chosen your weapon, and you haven't charted this course, don't pull. Just don't do it. Because the way this works is that if you pull, you have a 50%... No, it's not 50. It's even more. 70%. 5% chance to get one of these. Now, if you don't get one of these, you're going to get something else. You're going to get one of these. The Amos Bow, the Skyward Series, Wolf's Gravestone, Aquila, Favonia, etc. So you have a 75% chance to get one of these, or a 25% chance to get one of these. You may be saying, well, how am I going to get this? That's the epitomized path is for. So what this does... As it says, if you fail twice, so out of all your pools, if you don't get Song of Broken Pines, you get a Freedom Sworn, and you get, I don't know, a Wolf's Gravestone, then your next five star on this banner is guaranteed to be that Song of Broken Pines. Okay? That's the way it works. Now, very important, while pity carries over, the pity on this is lower, from pulls one through 63, you have a 0.7% chance to get a 5 star, and from 0.64 onwards, you start getting a higher chance. 64 is the first pull in which you're going to have a higher chance. So, the pity is 10 earlier, because it's weapons, but that's, that's what you're looking at on this. Alright? Alright? Seem pretty good? Seem good? Fairly simple, I know. But this path does not carry forward to the next banner. So if you are almost, if you have decided to pull on a weapon banner, of which this is a very good banner to pull on, be sure to keep pulling if you have this path going, otherwise the path's going to reset. Whatever the next weapon is, I'm guessing it's going to be an Ito weapon, this path will be reset. So that's why the weapon banner is designed to, you need to save up your wishes and throw them at the spanner, otherwise it won't work. You'll lose it. Keep your pity, so if you're at 63, and you just want to save for Ito's weapon, and you start that epitomized path in the next one, go for it. That will work. Pretty simple, yeah? So, consider leaving a comment down below if this information was useful. Consider hitting that like button. So other people can find this video, they can find it helpful, because I'm sure it will be to new players. So consider doing that. And if you have other advice as far as pity is concerned and saving up Prima Gems, definitely leave it down in the comment section. I'd love to read it. I will definitely reply. Look forward to seeing your all's comments. And if you would like to learn more about new player system guides, such as this video you see on screen now for the daily check-in process to get free Prima Gems, click that. Till then, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.